Aha, Lysithia. It's wrong to tease, yet I can hardly help myself. I know a secret. Your secret, in fact. I think you mean a baseless rumor. Why are you wasting your time? And mine, for that matter. Well... It's a secret that could completely overturn what is considered common knowledge in Crest Research. Shut your mouth! Just... Uh, let's go talk somewhere other than here. Okay, where did you hear about it? There was a sort of accident in Professor Hanneman's room. I should have figured. You haven't told anyone, have you? Of course not. If someone else were to learn you have two crests, I might lose you as a test subject. <sighs> Please stop talking so loudly. So what if I have two crests? If you insist on speaking of it, please do so quietly. My intuition was correct. You do have two crests. Wait, what? Did you just trick me? Trick is such a strong word. I think of it as testing a hypothesis. The truth is, I simply made an educated guess. Uh, well, now that I've confirmed it for you, there's not much I can do. I disagree. For example, you could tell me if you were born with them, or is the source magical? What does it feel like to use both crests at the same time? Is it pleasant, painful, euphoric? Enough is enough! I am done talking about this! As though I'd speak of this to the likes of you. I understand her desire for privacy, but to refuse my request for knowledge? It's... well... it's rude. There you are, Lysithia. I've been looking for you. So, I have a hypothesis about your crests. I know you're the one who sent me that anonymous letter. There are things we must discuss. Ugh, it sounded like some bizarre love letter. What? No, of course not. However, I wonder what you would have done if it was. Now I'm just confused and grossed out. I'm sorry, but that is not the overall topic of discussion. Do pay attention. Pay attention to you? As though anything you say is worth listening to. It's not like you can tell me anything I don't already know. You don't have a very positive opinion of your crests, do you? That's why you should listen to me. Um... I've dug through all my books, and there's no record of anyone being born with two crests. You are, to be blunt, an impossible occurrence. For you to have a second crest, it must have been forcibly implanted after birth. Is that your theory, then? Yes, it is. To further the theory, if the power exists to implant a crest, then it must be possible to remove one, too. And that is the real issue at hand. I... I could have one removed? That's what Hanneman is working on understanding. I'm helping him with it. Professor Hanneman? Based on your reaction, it seems you want one of your crests removed. I don't think I'd give up having two crests if I were you. Is that so? Even if you'd gone through horrifying experiments, endless trauma, and if you knew that all this pain meant you'd die very, very young? That's what you'd think? You're completely lacking in empathy. So of course you would make such a crass and foolish assumption. Uh, you seem to have lined up your desserts very meticulously. What you see before you, Lysithia, is a life choice. Oh, really? The most skilled pastry chef in the army has been asked to do the impossible in the heart of wartime. Source high quality ingredients, employ advanced baking methods, and create these two pastries. Wow, you've put a lot of thought into this. May I? Of course. You can have but one, though. 
and it should be noted that they taste completely different. I thought I'd split them between us, seeing as they were made so carefully and are so very, very special. Ah, thanks. So, what exactly is the life choice you mentioned? Also, if you are not partaking, I'll just go ahead and eat them both. Oh no. For you see, if you eat one, you simply cannot, must not, eat the other. Should you eat both, a pair of ingredients, one in each pastry, will combine to poison you. That seems unnecessarily intense. Just one won't kill me then? Of course not. But making this choice means you will not be able to taste the second dessert, ever. No matter what I tell you, you'll never know which one tasted best. And if you are underwhelmed by your choice, you'll regret your decision forever. So I should just pick one and be done with it? But you've already chosen, haven't you? Not between the pastries, but your life paths. You would gamble on the chance of living a long life, even if it meant losing your two crests, correct? Hence my current choice. Wait, whose choice are we talking about now? A shortened lifespan doesn't necessarily mean a short life. Even with two crests, you might live a long time. And with you around, the study of crests will undoubtedly reach previously unimagined levels. On the other hand, getting rid of them could help someone that I care about. Maybe. Or maybe it won't help at all. Unfortunately, one never knows until they eat the pastry. Even then, you can never taste them both. Hang on, Linhart. Do you mean to tell me you care about me? Since when? When indeed. You are someone I care about, though. So much so, I wish we could be family, you and I. Family? That escalated rather quickly. Although, having more family does sound nice. Anyway, I need to be going. Oh, and feel free to eat the pastries. I made up the poison bit because I didn't know how else to say what I wished to say. And because... Well, because I believe there are choices we can make where you can have both. I'll show you somehow, before the war is over. Are you sure these aren't poisoned? Linhart, wait! Wait! Thank <laughs> you.